Locals say they've been unable to turn their neighbor. They've been able to turn their neighborhoods around and help eliminate crime. Action News Jack's Courtney Cole picks up our live team coverage. She's in Springfield and explains some of the success they've seen in that area. Courtney. Taniga Springfield has become a hub for local businesses. In fact, just behind me, they now line Main Street. Neighbors I spoke to here in Springfield tell me they believe those businesses that have not been afraid to invest in the community have made the difference in the dynamic of the economic success here and the safety. I spoke to the councilman of this district. And he says one way he gets them to buy in is through offering grants. And just in the past year, I have seen such progress. I think uh, we've had eight businesses open. Um, we're in progression of probably another 10 to open that I know of this year. But Kelly Rich says it wasn't always this way in Springfield. 20 years ago, we had probably uh, what I've heard about 20 pawn shops. Rich is the executive director of the Springfield Preservation for Revitalization better known as SPAR. While the city is investing in at least two projects in the area as a part of their five-year plan, she says the willingness of business owners to buy into the community is what's led to its progress and success. That has to do with infill development, that has to do with like the success of the real estate market, it has to do with small businesses like this that have come and invested in on Main Street. The councilman of this district, Reggie Gaffney, says he works with the city to offer grants to businesses who move into his district. The city is, is in a position where it's willing to reach out and, and give incentives to, to companies who want to move into the urban community. But he also requires that they're willing to contribute to affordable housing and are willing to hire at least half of their staff from the community. Next on Action News Jacks at 6, we're taking a closer look at where the city is investing most of its money and on what. And you're also going to hear from a local business owner who has purposely put his business in an area struggling with crime. And he tells us why. Coming up next, reporting live in Springfield, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Jack.